What is up guys, Kubis here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be different. Today I've taken the delivery of this brand new iPhone. Now you guys might be saying, that's just no iPhone 5S. No, you're wrong. They added an F to it, so it's, now it's an iPhone 5S F. I would say what the S and F stand for, but I can't say that on camera. And there's a couple of cool features to this thing. So I don't know if you guys can see, because the camera's not going to focus to it, but the the screen is a little bit lifted up on this side, and it's supposed to do that, it's meant to do that. It actually comes like that. Um, that's for airflow, for a uh, cooling system. Basically the air just gets rain from the side, so it's pretty good. Um, this thing is somehow waterproof too, apparently, that's what they said. Um, that's an extra like $600, but everyone's got that type of money, right? But the coolest feature is that the screen opens. Now all you gotta do... If you're really good at it, like me, you can just like pop it open like that and it just opens. From what I've heard, they made this do this because of, um, again, overheating issues. So it's also is good for cleaning out and good for air. If you just buy this brand new, it's going to clean this out. It's supposed to do a thing like once a month. So it might take you up to two hours to actually get the screen off, but that's only one of the forms. So it's not really a big deal, you know. And the kit you can buy straight from them for like, I think it was like $300, so it's pretty good. But one of the features I really like, actually I think this is the only feature that it comes with, is that it can be a phone stand. Or a pyramid. Whatever you want it to be. It can be a tech deck ramp. Um, it can be a lot of things. Actually, let me get my phone, I'll show you. Oh, my phone's back here. See, I lost track, I was so excited. So, the phone can actually go like this. Hang on. It's, st it's still a bug, they're working on it, but it looks great. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, couldn't have gotten better. I mean, I was excited to see this actually come out. It can also act as a mirror. I have a big light shining behind the camera, so hopefully this can reflect it. Uh, I guess this is some of the waterproof sealant here. That's pretty cool, it's coming off. It's got a little bit of reflecting right there, you see that? Yeah, that's called reflection. So if you're ever lost in the ocean, get your iPhone 5 SF, open up the screen, just go like this and hopefully you blind another sailor and he sees you before he crashes himself. What else? What else do they have? Oh, it comes with a button. Um, yeah, this is just a button. It's not functional. I guess you can just fidget with it, but that's about it. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, they don't say how to get into the phone, so that's another mystery, but that's pretty cool. I like when it's mysteries and I don't know how to get into the only thing I just spent. Oh, I think it's like $20,000 too. But that's without the camera, the flashlight, basically without everything else on it. And these right here, well, these are just your normal headphone jack, charging jack, that's what you call it. Uh, your speakers, you know, I think one's fake, but we're not gonna talk about that one. Oh, can I, not really much I can say about this. I mean, I'm just, Mind blown. The screen's held on by a uh, ribbon cable, which is pretty cool. So like, you know, that little, it's like a jingle, you know, just, um, the screen is detachable, which is another key point why I bought this. It only takes about 10 minutes to detach it, but after that, I mean, you can just be walking around with just a screen and it'd be sick. I mean, it's not going to work, but it'd be sick, you know? And this right here, oh, this is the coolest part. So you guys know how I said it's waterproof, right? It's got problems uh, floating from my, what I've heard, and I want to test that out myself. This right here, this is not a battery, guys. That's not a battery. It is actually a uh, air lock tank system. And basically, if this sinks, because it will, it doesn't float. Because um, you can only activate this in a certain way. So you can only activate this once a month, once a month. So if it falls in the ocean and like you already used it once in a month, you gotta wait about a month to go get in the ocean. Um, but don't worry, it's waterproof, so it's all good. So basically, what you do is when this thing sinks, all you do is go on the phone that you pay better money for, and that's with your money, and that actually does what it's supposed to. You go on that phone, you click the app that Apple gives you, which is not free, it's about 50 bucks for the app. That doesn't come with the phone either. I guess you press the button in the app and it blows this up. It'll probably shoot your screen right off, so you probably won't have a screen, but it's all good. Remember guys, it's waterproof. And it falls right back up. And it's pretty cool that they did that because I don't know how, I can't even remember how many times I lost my phone in the ocean sink. 
I literally can't remember because I don't think it ever happened, but it's cool that they added that feature. I'm really happy. It's a little broken, but I guess, you know, it's Apple, so it's going to come like that, but whatever. I'll just pay $200 to get fixed. Um, what else? Oh, by the way, the air, the air lock tank is not free. It does not come with the phone. You got to install that one by yourself, too. I think to buy this, probably just, just about only, I don't know. Seventeen hundred for it. It's pretty good. I, I'd get it if I were you. If you were gonna go in the ocean. And also, I guess if you chuck your phone in the air, you don't know where it went. It can act as a parachute too, which is pretty cool. But yeah, there's a little bit of bug fixes that they need to do, but oh no, I love it. You know, it's like a old um. It's like the phone, you know? And when you're filming. You can do like, um, cause it actually films from the screen, not the back, even though there's a camera there. Um, it does like a 180, you know, so you can like get the side and it does it by itself. In the next update, which is coming out in about, the next update should be in about, I think they said five years, it would do a 360, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's awesome. So you guys like this, again, Leave a like because this is a new phone and it's pretty f***ing cool. If you guys hate it, leave a dislike. If you guys want more info about the phone, just comment down below and I'll try and answer questions. I mean, this is like the next level technology. It's really cool. Oh. It's really... It's meant to do that. Don't worry. It's meant to do it. Alright? Don't get worried. But it's, a, it's also a magnetic screen, so it goes together perfectly. Those wires are just there just in case so you don't drop the screen. It's now easier than ever to put this back together. So basically, you push the screen down like this. Do exactly. Boom. Oh my God, so cool. So fucking cool. Alright guys. Well, I'll see you at the next one. More info on the phone, just ask below. And I'll try and answer questions. I don't know, there's just so much cool things about this thing. Um, and yeah, so, like always guys, see you in the next video. Peace out, game on.